got to the stage, man, Atlanta's on. You guys know him, you guys love him. Everybody begin to make a lot of noise right now. Start clapping up right now, right now, right now. You made fun of you, tell me. Watching the Kino Trice show. <laughs> man, you man. gotta do the plug. <laughs> the show was awesome, man. The it show was, a good was awesome. Show. Yeah. How's it feel to be back in Atlanta? It feels good, man. It feels different, but experienced this time around. Right. I feel new again, like like when I was an open mic up. Right. Going to the places, nobody knows me, I'm starting over. But with 12 years experience. Right. So relapse is one of the first places. You started comedy. One of the first spots. I heard you did the first show. Was the very you? first show. We had to rent the chairs. Uh, <laughs> me and Bob put it together. And um, it was me, Carlos Miller, Egypt, Byron was on the show. Wow. I think that was the lineup. Legends, Atlanta Legends. Yeah. Atlanta Legends. It's, it's so cool to watch the scene. I've been able to watch you from back in the... Uh, Twisted Taco day. Twisted Taco. He was the host of Twisted Taco. Probably one of the best hosts ever came Thank to you. the Taco. That so. was a good room. I really got to hone my shit in that room. And um, he used to give comics the blues. Don't go there and buy. That's what the show needed. It was part of the show. <laughs> and he used to, I used to be scared to go up there. I was like, if, if I don't do well, it's already a good crowd. And then, too, I got to hear from Drew. So, um, yeah, you definitely had to be on your P's and Q's at the Twisted Taco. So, um, you've been doing comedy all over the country, so, so how was that ride? How was the day-to-day -day grind of, of being a road comic, doing shows here and there? It's a grind. One day you got to run your errands. Uh, that's when you get to, that's when comics go to the bank and do laundry. Tuesday, Wednesday, you got to be on the phone, sending out emails, calling clubs, trying to get a date. Because you battle with agencies and big names and, you know, clubs at the point now where they'd rather hire a name that will draw whether the dude is a good com comedian or not. It's not about comedy, it's about I got staff to pay and sell tickets. So it's really a grind, but at the end of the day, I mean, I love it. I love my job, you know? 46 weeks a year on the road. That's starting to get to be a grind. So it's time for something else, whether we create our own show here in Atlanta with all this talent and take it to TV or webisodes or whatever the case. But I'm tired of the traveling. And the way comedy goes now, you can't be a one-trick pony anymore. No, so you cannot. You're taking the acting classes. Right. So, and we talked about it, like the acting and you being a comedian at the same time kind of puts you ahead of the field. Like, yeah, because you act on stage anyway. Right, I mean, right. long time ago, I remember seeing an interview with Richard Pryor and somebody asked him about 
why was he taking acting class or going into acting? Something to the effect that his answer was, as a comedian, you are an actor. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so you act out your jokes, whether it's facial expressions, your body, things you do with your hands as you tell them your jokes. So you need to just be prepare yourself, have other skill sets. That right. Whether you walk in here and this director says improv or do it by script. Right, right. Play this person, you know, so I want to be able to play different characters, be in commercials, be in a lot of filming going on here in Atlanta. Absolutely, so absolutely. Just Atlanta. trying to get prepared yeah. and get in line. Atlanta is a hot spot for comedy right now. It's a good place to be and it's saturated. It's like it's, saturated. it's like New York and LA here. Like it's it is. a thousand comics. <laughs> we got plenty of places to go up and work on your set. Yeah. And we got a lot of stuff being filmed here. Right, right, right. So hey, Kino Charge Show being filmed here too. Let's, exactly. Let's do it. Let's make it big. Um, I just want to say I appreciate this guy. He's giving me opportunities that um, I don't. It's it's hard to get. Like you get with a headliner who will take you places. You get to uh, get around and, and spread your seed everywhere. Spread your seed. So I appreciate that. I just want to say that somebody took me. You welcome, and that's what it's about. Right. You know, it's, this is a business of paying it forward. Right. Won't get ahead unless somebody help you. And in the beginning, right. Tyler Craig took me on the road and. You know, I learned a lot from him, and later on, I toured with Rodney Carrington for three and a half years. Wow. I learned even more from him. But any chance I get to reach back to one of the people I came up with, that's what you got to do. And I appreciate it. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to get a date as a headliner, much less to get a date for your good friend who's a good feature to take them too. Right. Especially being in Atlanta because. Like uh, maybe just a few years ago, it was easy to get booked if you're a low-level comedian trying to get up. But with all the competition here, you got you got headliners that come take host to right. spots. And we got headliners living here now, right? right. So, so how so, are you gonna get a date when T.J. Miller in town for six months? Right. Right? <laughs> and he performing at every spot in town. You know what right, I mean? You right. got, best bet you can do is get on his show. Absolutely. But absolutely. that's why you gotta continue to build your fan base to get your get your own show. Yeah. And social media is important. Like it, it's not about how funny you are. No, it's, it's about, about how many followers you have. So uh, you know, follow follow Drew, man. Follow him on every <laughs> every uh, social every media platform right. at Come See Drew. <laughs> right. Together. Come See Drew dot com at Come See Drew. My Twitter, Instagram. Find me. And come see Drew in person. Right. You You're gonna be, have a good time. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. So, uh, hey, man. Like I said. Uh, Keep, keep burning them stages up. I appreciate the love. Thanks for having me. Drew Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at the Kino Trice Show. Take more than a road trip. Road trip. Really feel like I'm homesick. On Instagram, but don't post it. Never. I don't trust most cats I toast with. Trust. Ain't personal, but it's personal. It's personal. If you cross the line, it gets worse though. I got an entourage, but I'm solo. solo. No, I need church, but I don't go. A hundred miles ain't too far. too far. Speed demon in a blue car. Uh -huh. Me and you are like two stars. We shine bright, but we so far. Right. Relationship was like seesaw. seesaw. Straw hat like hee haw. Hee -haw. When I pull up in that blue car, yeah. you can jump right in. I'ma peel off. Yeah. I'm Drew Thomas, I just rocked out at the Relapse Theater, and you're watching the Kino Trice Show.